Edwards and Gregor inside the opponent's 25, which spells trouble. Lucas, oh, beautifully on, and Andy Goodway has a walking try. The half-backs are the heart of it. And Andy Goodway, who's scoring tries as if they're going out of fashion this season, gets his 13th of the season. 13 for number 13. Kick from Manning. Preston waiting. Oh, that was a wee bit high from Glenn Bell, right under the referee's nose too. Just under half an hour of this first half remaining. And uh, a yellow card's coming out for Glenn Bell. Two yellow cards. He's out for ten minutes. Mark well, Preston might be off for longer. Bell departs. Preston still receiving treatment from Keith Mills. Pretty boy, isn't he? The sort that we're trying to stamp out. Preston had a little fumble here, so I don't think he got a sight of Bell coming in. He certainly didn't miss. One wonders what you have to do to get sent off. Gregory, Gildart, still trying to work the short side and working it successfully. There's a lot of him to stretch to reach the try line, isn't there? Big Ian Gildart gets the try. It's his first of the season. And we're going to take command. Finishing at the top of the league table, and they're not really doing themselves justice in the uh, playoffs, which are the all important thing in Sydney. But both the Wigan fullback and the prop forward, Les Davidson, played for South Sydney in that marvellous year they had. Here's Andy Gregory. And it tells you something about Wigan when they can just call on two players of that quality for 10 weeks to cover for their two missing New Zealand tourists, Shelford and Iroh. Andy Goodway. Andy Gregory there at acting halfback is uh, fired up today. Going alone and then finding Dennis Betts. He's got Preston outside him and Edwards inside him. And here is Preston and he's still got Betts in support but he ain't going to need him. Not when you've got his speed. Wigan's third try. It's Mark Preston's 17th of the season. And there aren't many quicker in the modern game. And you can't afford to allow him a chance of that kind. Wigan buzzing. When he come out of there alive. Sharp. Tackled by his opposite number and Wigan have got it back. Edwards, Leiden, burn in support and he won't need him. Joe Leiden burns in. As fast as he needs to be. That's what Brian Smith says about him. And he was fast enough, a plenty there, to score another try. ball from Gregory, uses that short ball so well, and he's got it back off Clark, and he's got support from Blake, where did he come from, and where's he going, all the way, he's got Preston if he needs him, Mark Preston, good night. <laughs> Terrific play by Phil Blake, the number one there, another try by the neighbour Mark Preston, 18 this season now, a little bit of class from a very, very classy Australian back, making the difference there for Wigan. Good break, though, by Featherson. And they were that well. Here's Gary Price. Sharp. Too far for Manning. Oh, Rapati gathered that well. Platts missed him. And Rapati could go in here. He has to... Great try for Eva Rapati. Featherson's first of the day. And this prolific footballing family from New Zealand has produced another star for British Rugby League, Eva Rapati. Fisher can gather it. Manning would have been offside. Nobody wants it. Oh, the defence have got it back. Another mistake by Byrd. Very unusual. Grayson. Fox. Bell. We're going to get him beaten in the second half. Terry Fox. They are still leading by 26 points to 8, mind you. Sharp. Good break by Gary Price. Got support from Manning. Now, can he get past the fullback? Smuggle it away. Andy Fisher's in. Wigan crowd aren't too happy. Andy Fisher's delighted. And Featherson have their second try of the half. And Andy Fisher's first ever in Championship Rugby League.
Davidson. Lucas. Just a little bit of uh, shape and order as much as anything, Wigan. First half, there always seemed to be a master plan. Everybody seemed to know what they were doing. Blake knows what he's doing. Chris Burton got back. Lucas. Davidson. Kept alive. Phil Blake. Always likely that he might be the man to pick Wigan up again. They needed that try. And Phil Blake's come up with it for them. And when you've got individuals like that, no matter how badly you seem to lose your way, there's always the chance of finding it again. Relegated in 1980. Great tribute, not only to the men who you're seeing out there, but the men behind the scenes who have revived this club to be one of the great clubs in world rugby league, never mind, here in Britain. Great plans now for Central Park. They're going to spend millions on this ground in the next few years. Make it a real super stadium for a developing game. Edwards and Betts, two of the stars of that game. Blake may be the star of this game. And an easy walking try for Jedburn. But good handling. Slick rugby football. That had Wigan tattooed all over it. And Jedburn adds his name to the list of Wigan try scorers. Just three more games before he returns to Australia to uh, mount another challenge towards the Sydney Grand Final with South Sydney. Small figures for us from uh, Phil Larder. The reason uh, why Phil Blake has won the man of the match is quite evident there. He's made far more busts through the defensive line than any other player on the pitch. A tremendous performance. That term, bust, has uh, created quite a lot of mail, and we thank you for all your letters. It's, uh, I think, uh, an Australian term, really. It's the broken tackles which are so often the breaks which set up the try scoring opportunities for teams Barry Drummond with half his pack still trailing back down the field to get behind the ball and they need to bother Wigan were challenged in the early stages of the second half but they had enough ability enough class in the likes of man of the match Phil Blake to come through strongly